That sounds pretty boring. Um, no, we're gonna uh, cut back and forth between the uh, B-roll shots that we shot with you the other day, so it's gonna be like more. Oh yeah, yeah that, that that would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll definitely help. So anyway. Pleasure to meet you, Rob. Uh, yeah, I bet. And, uh, does does Rob stand for anything? Uh, it stands for Robert. Yeah, I, I meant like like as like an anagram maybe or something. Nope, it's just Rob. You sure? Cause I I mean. I'm sure. Yeah. Cool. I was made in Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, there's this place uh, called Ace Auto Salvage. That's uh that's where my mom got most most of my parts. And a few, I think, were just, like, lying around at her place. So why did you choose to come here to Boston? I'm here to work, I guess. They're, I, I'm not really, I don't have any goals, but I do know that, like, back home, there's not that many, you know, jobs in the Midwest. So I'm just trying to get myself more towards an area that can uh, support me, I guess, maybe. I don't know. So what is your job currently? Oh, I'm a teaching assistant. Yeah, um, my LCD is was used for um, displaying a lot of media, and turns out I have some nursery rhymes saved that I help for, for with, with kids and stuff. So I'm kind of like a second mode of communication aside from the teacher to help kids understand like math and reading and me sing songs. It, it, it's, it's pretty fun. So parents are okay with you like working with kids and being in what's supposed to be like a child safe area? Yeah, I'd say for the most part, there's have been a few mishaps where there's like a lack of communication, uh, that that type of stuff, you know, which always happens in education, you know, between parents, children, and teachers, you know, things can get very complicated very quickly. And I think I'm definitely still learning how to mediate those different issues and communication problems, but I still have a lot of learning to do. It's definitely going to be more difficult for me for obvious reasons, but uh, I'm still willing to learn it, and I think that that's just something I gotta, you know, work past and always be working at to get better, like most people. So you do have things to learn and kind of figure out, yeah, of despite course, the fact of course. that you and may I'm have. I'm just gonna stop you right there because I this is something that has annoyed me since day one of moving to a new place is people ask me questions that they can just look up, thinking that I can look it up. I can't look it up. I'm not connected to the internet, so I hope just it's not not every robot is connected to the internet. Not every robot knows the answers to all your life's problems. I just figure it out yourself. I have stuff that I gotta figure out myself, and I do that myself. And if I need help, I'll ask somebody. But like I'm. Not, I, I can't answer every possible question, you know? Do you think that people rely a bit too much on technology and those types of things to like? I don't get think people are relying it? on it. I think it's I think it's a dependency. And you don't even know what you're asking me for, you know? Could you possibly elaborate? Well, like there's a difference between someone asking me, are you okay, and someone asking me, are you rusting, or something like that. The latter has this preconceived notion of what's already going on, of the context of like who I am and what I am, but that's not it's not always the cause. It's not always where you're starting from. Learning new information kind of works the same way, where it's like you start at a certain point, and then from that point you have to go somewhere, but you also got to know, where are you starting from? What, what is that basis? How do you figure that out? You know, why are you coming to me for this answer when you have the ability to find that answer? Like, what is more convenient about asking me than typing on your phone? Are your thumbs tired? Like, I don't know. Do you think technology fatigue could be a part of this issue? Well, my cousin Roger always says that that is a you problem. Why would you have to, why would, why am I being fatigued by your fatigue? Why are you bringing that to me? That shouldn't, that shouldn't be like that. You should take that to yourself. Keep it to yourself. I don't want it. Do you think there's a direct way for people to be more respectful around robots? Well, how about we don't frame our sentences as people and robots and instead see this as a people issue in general? We already know we're people, but for some reason that is not our decision to make, so you guys gotta, you gotta figure that out. Then maybe we can, like, start starting.